What is good everyone? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new AEW action figure review and we're taking a look at the ringside exclusive AEW Unrivaled 3 pack of The Acclaim. So I guess you could say... Now this packaging is sick as hell, man. It is a boombox right here, as you guys can tell. It says the Acclaimed here. I really like what they've done on the AEW logo right here, is they've made it look like an embossed logo of a stereo, which I think is awesome. But you have the graffiti text of the Acclaimed over the speaker. It's got the chains going around, and then they do have this Velcro flap. So when you pull this down, you can reveal the figures inside, and all three members of the Acclaimed right here look really damn good in here. So you guys can see you have Max Caster, Anthony Bowens, and Billy Gunn. It says the Acclaimed. It's got some scissors, of course. And then it does have some cool lights over here, some boom boxes or speakers on the side. And then even the flap down here says the Acclaimed, and it's got it's got the scissor hands, some music notes, some graffiti. Very cool. You know AEW and Jazzwares always nails the packaging on these guys, but as you flap this back up, it does reseal. It's got a little window on the top. On the side, it does have an AEW logo, the Acclaimed, and then 139 over there. I don't know how the hell their number system works, Brad. Here's a shot of the back of the packaging as well. They're all scissoring each other. Well, Mr. Funny Man, is this how you get your sick kicks? But they look pretty damn good. Acclaimed over here and all the good stuff, man. No bio-read or anything, which, you know, I don't really care for the bio-read anyway. Nothing at the bottom, and then it is the same AEW Acclaimed logo on the opposite side, on the side there. But nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up, crack the Acclaimed out, and find out what these guys are all about. So here is the acclaimed out of the packaging, man. Liking what we're seeing here. Tons of accessories that you get in this pack. A really unique pack going on. I'm digging a lot of the things that are going on with this set. Of course, not perfect by any stretch. We're going to dive into what I like about the pack, what I don't like. And we're going to, of course, dive into the accessories of the pack and break everything down. You guys know that I love the color pink. It's one of my favorite colors. So to see this pack kind of come to fruition, and you know Max Caster likes to blast the zebra print, and you have all these different pink colors and bright colors going on. Really, I, I love it. I love that, as you guys know. So that's always money for for me, but what we're going to do is run through the accessories that you get with this pack, breaking down every single accessory, even the interchangeable hands and everything that comes with each individual wrestler, and then we'll run through each individual wrestler and figure by itself and get into some comparisons of the acclaimed figures. So let's dive into the accessories. Alright man, so getting into the accessories that you get with the acclaimed 3-pack ringside exclusive here, you get quite a bit, man. I mean, each individual guy comes with their own accessories, which I think is really awesome, but of course you could mix and match, I'm sure, if that was your style. But let's dive into the different stuff of this pack and just kind of break it down one by one. So I guess we can just go left to right here. We have the first Max Caster head sculpt, and this is the, I'd say the worser of the two between the two. You have like the mouth open, tongue expression, and then you have this straight face here. And I don't know, I think it favors him. I like the haircut and everything. Kind of has a Russell Wilson vibe going on or something like that, but I don't know. I don't like this head sculpt as much as I like this head sculpt. I just think this one has more personality, and I think this other one has more likeness in it, but I also got a little bit of paint chipping on my ear right there. I got some black or dark brown sort of paint on there and I don't know I think I don't know they're not bad but I definitely like this expression over the blank face but pretty good head sculpts I like the hair sculpt and everything like this and they fit the figure well so that's always nice to see but we do get two interchangeable max caster head sculpts and then another one of the bright spots of this pack is the acclaimed basketball jersey or cutoff style jersey here this is so clean man the glitter silver going on with the iridescence you have a claim there in silver and it's got the pink and black outline you got the pink collar with the black collar which is very sweet it is velcro which kind of sucks. I would have liked to seen it non-Velcro, but it's still cool. It's just platinum on the back, and you do have the 78 on front and back. And when you undo this, it you really can't see much of the T or the I, but I don't know. It's not horrific. I think it gets the job done for the most part. I would have liked to seen no Velcro, but I still like it. I still think th this just stands out on shots. very toyetic. It looks very nice on the silver gear as well. And I do believe we're getting another jersey in the Unravel 14, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, kind of uh, maybe you can mix and match that or do whatever, but the, this jersey is one of the standouts of the set. Now, outside of that, you also get a hat here for your Max Caster. It says the Acclaimed in the pink with the scissor. Very sick hat. It's got the pink brim on there. Very clean going around. You have the strap right there on the back, and this fits the figure pretty damn good. I mean, he's not going to usually pull it down on his head, right? He wears his hats kind of like I wear my hat. Like, I wear my hat flat like this, but usually, man, when you see, like, if I'm chilling around the house, man, I'll for no reason just throw my hat on like this and just sit there and edit or walk around. Like, if people will say, or it's just kind of like my chilling stance. I'll just throw my hat on like like this. I don't walk around like that, but if I'm just at home, whatever, and I have my hat, I'll just throw it up like this m most of the time. This is how he wears it most of the time. He doesn't have it pulled down, but you can put this on the head like this, and then he also comes with his headphones, which are in this orange and black colorway. Nice sculpt on here, by the way, 
and you can throw these over the hat right here and you can get him uh, wearing these with the hat on there which I think is nice now one thing that I don't like is that's probably as good as it's gonna get you know they just kind of sit on there they don't plug in or do anything but I mean it does look like he's wearing them but uh, they're, a, they're a little bit finicky they may be like the size maybe not that great or whatever and it's kind of hard to like get it to stay on there but it will you know like I think that gets the job done for the most part I don't think you're gonna have any issues there but I still like that you include the headphones, man. The headphones are great. You get the hat accessory. I mean, what else could you ask for with your wrestling figures, man? It's just so cool that you can set up something like that. And he also comes with his silver chain, which I think is a great accessory. You could throw this on a hundred different people, but it is nice to see him rocking that. And I just had a fantasy booking tag team in my head, which we'll see how that goes. But yeah, this is very cool as well. I love this, this chain accessory. And then the last object you get with your Max Caster is going to be an AEW microphone. Of course, he is the rapper, right? So this is cool. They used to throw it in there with everything, you know, but, you know, that joke's kind of died now, I guess. You have the AEW microphone that comes with Max Caster. And then for interchangeable hands for your Max Caster, you have a left hand that is a mic-holding object hand. And, and the right hand is a white wrist tape or hand tape hand with a white peg, which is nice, which is also a mic-holding hand. And then you get the interchangeable scissor-me hand or a claimed hand or, you know, whatever you want to do there. So you can do a bunch of peace signs. There's a bunch of different things you can do with the scissor-me hand there, but you, you we know what they're for. And then for our Anthony head sculpts, I do have a bit of paint chipping here on my head sculpt which is unfortunate not the biggest deal because i don't really care for this head sculpt as much he is kind of pissed off which i like but i think this acclaimed has arrived head sculpt is much better with the tongue out i think this looks much better to me the likeness is better and then i don't have any of that discoloration or paint chip so that's cool i like this head sculpt. i like the tongue out head sculpt better than the pissed off head sculpt but it is cool to have a I, I like that you have the option which is good for your anthony figure and he also comes with his pink zipper entrance vest here which has the scissors all over it you have the hand down for the acclaimed and then he has all of this white patterns the zipper the collar going on and on the back it says everyone loves the acclaimed it's got the same logos and stuff very cool i like this and if it's going to be rubber and it's a vest it better be a vest you know what i mean if it's going to be rubber it better be a vest where he can still articulate so this is nice i like the bright pink color they're using the white really offsets it as well makes a cool contrast so i like the entrance vest for anthony bowens and then for your interchangeable hands you do have the interchangeable mic holding hands right here and then he also comes with his own pair of interchangeable scissor me hands here, peace hands, or whatever the hell you want to say. So you do get scissor me hands with your Anthony Bowens, but it's not just one side. You get two different hands. And then he also comes with an AEW microphone. So you get two different, you do get two AEW microphones in this set of the acclaimed three pack. And then for the daddy ass figure, you get this acclaimed every Wednesday AEW shirt, which fits the figure pretty well. As you guys saw, I took it off because it was, you know, it did, it did stain the figure. Unfortunately, we'll get into that when we take a look at the Billy Gunn, but I like this shirt. I think it's a very creative shirt and everything like that it is a velcro shirt but it's pretty big as well and it looks good on the figure and whatnot but it is a cool shirt i like the acclaimed shirt and it's the second cloth goods you get in this pack and billy gunn also comes with his own hat it is the same sculpt as our max caster hat but it does say the acclaimed and that is it it's just a blank black cap it's got you know some different textures going on on the sculpt but it does say the acclaimed in pink but yeah you get another hat accessory for your acclaimed pack and then for interchangeable hands you do get the grippling or i don't know i guess these are more grappling style hands over mic holding style hands and the billy gunn's skin tone but he also has his ring finger tattooed right there which is a nice detail and then you also get his interchangeable scissor me hands and they also have the tattoo on there so i think that's pretty good details right there they actually they could have easily just left that off and you know just said to hell with it but they actually added it so it's a good detail there for your scissor me hands for daddy ass all right, man, so taking a look at Max Caster, starting off the head sculpt. Again, this is probably my favorite one out of the two. Not a perfect likeness, but I, I still think it gets the job done, like I stated before. I think it looks pretty good here. But going down to the torso, I like the torso choice. You know, he's not the most ripped up son of a gun, but I think this works. You know, it's one step above probably where he's at. But it looks good. I think the skin tone's good and everything like that. I don't have any issues there. I did take the jersey off so you guys can kind of see. I'm pretty sure this is the Cody Rhodes torso. It's the old Cody Rhodes torso and arms and shoulders, if I'm not mistaken there. But it is double jointed. No you know the pins are seen for the most part as always here it's not a supreme so you know they haven't made their way into the unraveled line but you do have the white wrist tape i mean kind of like cody you got the white hand tape and wrist tape on this side but it is it does have white wrist tape on this side as well but love these tights man the silver here with the pink is so clean man you know i love zebra print i like pink i like all those things but you have yo all over it you got the scissors the zebra print is very clean you got platinum on the butt right there which looks good 
and then going down to the open knee pads, which are also clean. It does have a, you know, music notes over here, and it says Best Wrestler Alive there in the silver and black and pink. Very, very clean gear, man. Love the silver boots as well. It just really stands out. It's got the black outsoles on there, and I could be wrong, but these look to be like the Ricky Starks boot mold. It's what it looks like to me. I could be wrong there, but it's got the black laces in there. Very clean aesthetic to the figure, man. You know, AEW figures, for the most part, are just really poseable. You know, you get the upper thigh cut, you get boot cut there, which is nice. He can kick forward pretty daggum good, I'd say. I'm not having any issues there. I like the ab crunch on AEW figures. So nice, man. They're just clean. He doesn't have super tight joints. I think they're pretty buttery smooth for the most part. Double jointed knee here. Double jointed arm, I should say, you dumb moron. He does have the ball hinge there, which is nice. I do like the caster figure, man. I think that's, yeah, that's getting the job done for me, man. Personally, that's pretty good. Damn good fire right there. All right, guys, so getting into Bowens at the top of the head sculpt, we do have the tongue out head sculpt. I prefer this one over the other one. I just think it kind of captures that personality, right, of the acclaim. So I do like this. I think it sits on the head well, or on the neck well, I should say. And this torso we've seen quite a few times before. I think we've seen this on Pac. We've seen this on John Silver, I think it was. We've seen this on a slew of different people. I think even MJF. I think this may be the MJF torso. So, no stranger to this torso. Same arms and black wrist tape. Nothing too crazy or immaculate going on there. I do like this gear a lot, man. You got the scissors going on with the pink and white. Two of my favorite colors. So, that is all money for me. Got the last name on the back. I really dig it. Really cool gear. I like it. You know, everybody with their gear nowadays is crushing it for the most part outside of maybe Logan Paul. Got the thick thighs in there looking pretty good. And then we go down into the acclaimed on the knee pads in the white and pink. Just two stellar colors, man. You put these two up next to each other and it is clean as hell. And it's kind of weird. I actually made it like a custom MDT gear that was like pink and white like this similarly. And it looked sick as hell. Never came to fruition, I don't think, though, in figure form. But you do have the laces in the back of the kick pads right here that are sculpted on. That's actually some sculpted texture right there, the black, pink, and white. And then on the front, you do have the acclaim there. And one thing that's cool is he even has these, like, one-of-one one feet. These are one-of-one one feet completely made for himself. So, you know, they're always knocking it out of the park with their one-of-one one sculpts. I think that's really awesome. Now, I really don't want to get into comparisons until we get the full figures in here. But these knee pads don't really allow for a good articulation. But he does have boots swivel which is beautiful i'd never let him hear the end of it if it didn't he's got a really good ankle rocker in there he's on ball joints right i mean he can kick forward pretty diggum good i would say you know they got all the good stuff in here this is a torso we've seen a bunch of times but he feels pretty buttery smooth he's not feeling very stiff as they like to say and i don't know i, I like it man I, I like the feel in hand and whatnot i don't think you're gonna have any issues there i still like my legs on this figure and actually all three of the figures i feel like it may be a little bit loose in the legs for whatever reason like the ball all joints may be a little bit loose, but it's not egregious, I guess. And last but not least, we do have Daddy Ass or Billy Gunn here, and this head sculpt's not my favorite of all time. I think it favors Billy Gunn, but I certainly think that Mattel kind of captures that likeness better when we've seen some Billy Gunn figures, but it's not bad by any means. I also think he could be darker than this. He seems a bit light in the tan department. I feel like Billy Gunn's always had this crazy tan on him, but head sculpt's okay. Kind of got a Luger look to him, but he does have his ear tattoo on the back of his head right there. I think it says, say when and then he does have his hair sculpt going back right here, which is crazy. It's kind of bald underneath there. He's got a damn skin fade going on right there, but got his tattoos on the back shoulder and the back of his neck right there. I could have swore he had more tattoos than this. I know he's got like a few here and there, but I don't know. It just seems like he would be a guy that would be just super tatted. We do have this new torso going on, which is unique. I mean, Billy Gunn's a jacked individual, so, you know, he's looking pretty jacked right here in figure form. Got the navel rose right there. Also have some tattoos going on over here. Looks like he's got some dogs going on or some pets. And he's got some other tattoos going on here. Then he has his joggers on, which I almost knocked the damn camera out. But he does have these joggers on that have these scissors all over them. Kind of matching the whole vibe and gear there. And for some reason, Billy Gunn's always flooding. So when you go down in here, does have... You guys can see his joggers are not quite going all the way down. And he does have his kicks right here, which are pretty clean. I like the way those look. And I want to say I know the shoe, but I don't know it off the top of my dome. But yeah, that kind of bothers me but I do yeah I, I like the pink kicks they tie in nice before the figure itself he can kick forward okay not a terrible kick there but I just feel like his leg is just kind of loose to me man but he does have upper thigh cut a double jointed knee shin cut and a foot wobble right there and it can go down and up it can't go it down as much as I'd like because of the heel right here the little heel cup on the shoe kind of interrupts that but I'm digging it man I, I like it you know you can do a decent little ab crunch right there he's pretty buttery smooth like I said before on the rest of the figures. 
I just feel like their legs are a bit loose, man. That kind of bothers me. I don't, I don't like that my legs are loose like that. But now that we've covered Billy Gunn as well, man, let's get into some acclaimed action figure comparisons here. And for your acclaimed figure comparisons, here we have the acclaimed three pack up next to some other ringside exclusives, just like this figure pack is a ringside exclusive. We have the negative one and Brody Lee two pack figures. We have the hook. We have the TNT champion Cody. We have the TNT champion Sammy Guevara. We have the ringside exclusive Danhausen and the ringside exclusive CM Punk figures. So I just wanted to kind of compare some different ringside exclusives and this isn't even including all the blood and guts figures so we've had quite a bit of ringside exclusive AEW action figures and I hope we continue to get them because they're badass but it is cool to see these up next to each other just kind of seeing you know how they kind of scale with some different characters and whatnot and I think they scale pretty damn well you know Billy Gunn's a tall guy it's like 6'4", 6'5", something like that so I think all these pretty much for the most part scale pretty well I'd say I don't know their exact heights but I want to say these guys are 5'10", 5'11", somewhere in there I could be wrong of course however However, you know, these look pretty good, I'd say, up next to each other. Kind of looking like a damn Dragon Ball Z intro card or something. But I think that about does it for our review of the ringside exclusive AEW Unrivaled acclaimed three-pack of Max Caster, Anthony Bowens, and Billy Gunn. Again, if you want to grab this pack, man, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, of course. I always support everybody using the code, man. I appreciate every single one of you guys that shop over at Ringside Collectibles. They are the number one place for your wrestling action figure collections. But, of course, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. I'd greatly appreciate it. But this pack is very fun, man. Lots of great accessories and things of that nature. I really couldn't describe what it is about these figures in general. I think that I really can't say it, but I feel like their legs are a little loose. More loose than normal I'd say. That's what I'm finding with mine but I like the likeness on all the head sculpts. Billy Gunn head sculpt, probably not my favorite, but I've been begging for an acclaimed pack and to finally have these guys. I know we're getting, I do believe we're getting Max Caster and Anthony Bowens in Unrivaled 14, which should be coming out relatively soon. We just got the loose images of those. I love the jersey that's on Max Caster. I think it looks so damn good, man. The silver and pink and zebra print. I mean, that is right up my alley, so it looks really, really clean. You guys know I love white gear, so pairing that with the Anthony figure, it's very fire. Very good stuff going on with this entire pack. I really like the unique sculpts you have going on as well. They don't just reuse sculpts over and over again, which is awesome. It's just a really fun pack. You know, we do get some standing on my Billy Gunn figure. I am going to wash that figure, but I mean, when, when am I ever going to have the shirt off of that guy anyway? Not that that's not something that you need to address, because they definitely need to address the staining issue for sure, but I love all the pink going on. I like these figures overall. I think if you're an Acclaim fan, this is a no-brainer, man. I, I love this pack, and I don't know the exact differences right now between the Unrivaled 14 guys and this. However, I would say this pack is still worth it. I like how I love the packaging. I love the jerseys, the hats. Very clean aesthetic. It's just awesome, man. So I, I really like this pack. If you want to grab it, again, go over to Ringside Collectibles, but I, I'd say grab this pack. I really am a fan of it, and I think it checks a lot of boxes and does a lot of great things. So, but yeah, man, that is pretty much going to wrap it up here for me, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the review. I'd like to know your thoughts on this pack down in the comment section below, whether you grabbed it or not, man. But huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. I appreciate all those fellows over there. Thank you guys so very much for all of your support as always, man. If you guys are interested in something like that, click the link in the description below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.